my dad influenced me since day one. You know, um, he wanted me, my brother and I both to come on the court always to play with him. He always uh, pushed us and uh, told us we could both be great tennis players. We just sort of picked it up from there and uh, he kept pushing, pushing, and uh, if it wasn't for him, I uh, wouldn't be here today. He grew up being a competitive skier, but then, um, you know, he started to really like tennis at an early age. Got uh, me and my brother involved, you know, and we grew to like it a lot, and then we just started to play it on a daily basis and then took it to the next level further and further and playing many tournaments as we could and traveling as far as we can. Everyone always asks me if I had trouble telling them apart and um, um, and I did, I mean I struggled. On court, you know, Nemanja is right-handed and Marco's left-handed so when they're out on the court, that, you know, there's no issue. Um, but but um, early in the fall, probably the first month or so I struggled to, you know, to look them in the eye when they were off court and know which was which. My biggest change I would say coming to the uh, to Canada to the U.S. from Canada would be getting used to the tennis. You know, here is really competitive. You know, so in Canada, you know, it's obviously it's very cold. You know, compared to here, but just playing indoors mainly all year round. And whereas here, it's been a variety of in and out and going to warmer places. Coming to the collegiate level for tennis, uh, it's obviously more of a team atmosphere. In order for you to win, you, you not only do you need to win, but you need to win as a team. And uh, everyone needs to contribute both on the court and off the court. And, and we both try to uh, stay positive and um, try to win all the dual matches we can.